morning you are preparing for DRDO scientist B and you have prepared the subject of data structures. So okay. let's start from uh, what is tree? No, actually, the chat is going so I was unable to hear, but just within one minute. Okay, uh, what is tree? Yes, ma'am. Uh, tree is uh, <clears throat> actually tree is a stuck uh, where uh, is a data structure in which it is connected to other nodes in such a way or such uh, in other what is in such a way it doesn't form a cycle okay tree should contain a cycle correct ma'am ma no ma'am tree should not contain a cycle it should be a cyclic graph Okay, just now you told that uh, all the vertices should be connected. In such a ma'am, all ma vertices should be connected in such a fashion that uh, shouldn't be form a cycle. Okay, so what are the vertices? Ma'am, uh, vertices could be either uh, parents or could be child or uh, child of his parent. Uh, but uh, I'm ma'am like this ma'am. Can you differentiate between tree and the graph? Yes, ma'am. Ma graph also connect. Uh, in tree, ma'am, what happened? Uh, all the vertices are connected to each other so that doesn't form a cycle. When in graph, it's not necessary that all the vertices are connected to each other. Maybe there's a co separate component or separate graph or other vertices which are not connected. I mean, there could be a one, two vertices such that there may not be an edge between there or there may not be a path between both of them. Maybe a separate component, separate graph. Uh, but in tree, it's always composite, they're always connected to each other. In graph, it can form a cycle, but in tree, couldn't form a cycle. Okay. Is, it, uh, is it really necessary that tree should be connected all the times? Yes, ma'am. All but is sure? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, so uh, can you tell what is tree traversal? Uh, tree traversal actually is going through each of the vertices uh, sequentially uh, by uh, either following uh, a pre order traversal, in order, or post order traversal. I mean, going to each of the vertices in the tree. Uh, and or, or can we say just like a traveling each of the vertices of the tree uh, sequentially uh ma'am is called travels okay. uh, what kind of traverses are there uh ma'am is uh, in order post order pre order travels what is the difference between the all three ma'am pre order uh, <clears throat> what happened in pre-order? First root is visited, then is left child, and then is right child is visited. Uh, but in uh, in order, first left child is visited, then root, and then uh, right child is visited. But in post order, first left child, then uh, uh, first root, then uh, left child, and then right child is visited. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Suppose, sorry. Uh, actually, wrong, ma'am. Sorry, ma uh, actually, uh, first uh, left child is visited, then uh, right child, and then root. It's like this. In case of? Ma in case of post order. Okay. So, uh, suppose you have only post order traversal. So, can you create a tree out of it? Can you repeat once again? I said, suppose you are given with the post order traversal. Can yeah. you create a tree out of it? Yeah, uh, no, ma'am. Uh, still needed uh, in order at least. In order at least. And if you are given with uh, pre order and post order, then? No, still a uh, unique tree can be constructed. Maybe uh, can it be a different? Can be different tree 
in an actual original tree. So to actually build a unique tree, near always in order, along with either post order or pre order. Okay. Uh, what is a binary tree? Binary tree is a data structure in which uh, is a tree data structure in which uh, <clears throat> a root, I mean, a node is connected to his a child, a node is have his child, and uh, in such a way that uh, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean to say, ma'am, tree a binary tree is a tree data structure in which. It's uh, each node have its left uh, have its child. This one. Uh, can you please repeat what did you say, ma'am? Uh, have. Sorry, ma'am. Well, yeah, what what did you say, ma'am? Ma repeat. Yes, ma'am. Tree. Yeah, uh, actually, binary tree is a, a tree data tree data structures, uh, in which uh, every in which node have uh has a child and uh, it could be travel in particular sequence uh, i mean uh, either in order post order or pre order so uh, is it true that every node should have a child uh, no ma'am it's not compulsory that every node uh, uh, have a child ma because they could be a live also they would be live also ma'am so live is not going to have his child ma'am how many are the maximum number of uh, nodes that a binary tree can have? Each node in a binary tree can have. Can, uh, sorry, can you repeat once again? Uh, I said how many number of nodes that a, bi that a node in a binary tree can have? What is the maximum number of uh, children? Uh, Ma'am, I can have a 2 to power h plus 1 minus 1 because uh, at each node, at each level, you're going to have uh, n by 2 to power h. So uh, if I sum up all nodes at each level, then it become 2 to 2 power h plus 1 minus 1. So num total number of nodes will be like this. Okay. Can you just draw one binary tree? Okay. Okay. So here, suppose you have a note one. How many yes. children is it having? Uh, it have a total, ma'am. Uh, two children, ma'am. Two children. And some formula you told, right? Just now. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I told the formula, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What was it? So, is it fitting into that? Uh, ma'am, that is, uh, I told, no, ma'am, actually, that not fitting because that is, you know, that fit only under full binary tree. I mean, for, uh, because if at this level, I mean, it should be completely filled. Then I told that formula only be fit on where that is a maximum that give the value of maximum node that can have in a tree. Yes. The tree which you have made on your uh, notebook, is it a complete binary tree or not? Uh, yes, it's a complete binary tree because uh, in complete binary tree is compulsory that the last level should not be completely filled. I mean, this is the last level. It's not filled. So it is a complete binary tree. At every average and uh, every node has two children. So it satisfies the condition. Okay, so uh, what is BFS and DFS? What is the difference between the two? BFS is uh, traveling through, I mean, uh, first, uh, what is happening with first search? It's a searching algorithm. If it first, uh, what uh, it first uh, go uh, scan, I mean, uh, search in the current level before going to the next level. I mean, scan all the what he said in the current level before going to the next level. And in BFS, therefore, search it, 
it go at current level it uh, scan the first node and they go to their subsequent uh, subsequent level continuously and then after that when it is the and it, it start backtracking and uh, the visit all the rest of the node Okay. Uh, suppose uh, which underlying in data structures this uh, BFS and DFS are using? Ma'am, these are using uh, other adjacency matrix or adjacency list. No, I am asking for BFS and DFS. Yes, ma'am. Adjacency list and matrix is some graph, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What um, is the underlying data structure that BFS and DFS are using? Ma'am, it's used. It's used, ma'am. Link uh, double link list, ma'am. Double link so list. What is uh, which is which algorithm is uh, used to efficiently determine the presence of a cycle in a given graph? Can you repeat the answer? Ma'am, uh, it will be uh, DFS, ma'am. DFS. DFS. Okay, let's come to the feedback. Uh, Romil, I felt like you are not very confident with the graph part. Okay, ma'am. Okay, like uh, I asked the underlying data structures that DFS and VFS is using. Okay, so DFS is using stack and DFS is using Q. Okay, okay, you should never forget this thing. That's the most important thing. Okay, and pre also pre like when I asked you the first question, then like the first, the second questions, you were not very clear, like you were fumbling, and you had to think a lot that what should I tell about trees, okay. right? So okay. uh, you should be you should revise one or once or twice more. I think you are clear with the concept. It's okay. just that you didn't revise it like recently. I just felt like that. Yes, right, right, right. Huh. So you should revise it once or twice. I think that will come. You know the concepts. Only thing is revision. That is lacking. Okay, ma'am. From your side. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. Anything you want to ask? Uh, uh, ma'am, uh, one thing. Uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> actually, ma'am, I need to ask one thing. Uh, uh, ma'am, actually, I actually have uh, one uh, as issue related to the ma'am, uh, like ma'am, uh, suppose uh, sub someone question is given. Uh, suppose it's a very uh, while one interview, while one question given, which require a lot of, um, I mean, just normal question is given. And uh, suppose ma'am, uh, for me, according to me, it's a tough level and need a lot of thinking. For, but for a normal issue, it should be maybe, I uh, just, just, uh, just give within three or four seconds, but I require a little bit more thinking. And, uh, whether I have uh, whether I have to tell us, sir, sir, I need more um, need time. I will like this something I need to say, uh, or maximum time that uh, interview uh, panel give to answer the questions. I mean, what no, the... you can whenever you get a question that you that requires some written thing, you just first discuss with the interviewer that what is there in your mind. Okay. Okay. And then you should start proceeding to the problem. Okay. Okay, directly, if a person is asking to you something, you should not directly move to the screen and draw something or write something. Just first discuss what you what is there in your mind so that uh, this will actually, uh, interviewer will come to know that if you know or not, even if you take more time in solving it, that won't make a problem because uh, that will give an impression that you know you are taking time, no problem. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, there is a strong possibility that you are stuck at some place. 
so uh, they they are going to help you in that okay ma'am uh, so it will they will be given a time that's not the issue ma'am they will give ma'am just before that after answering just complete has should have a fee in, in mind have a complete figure what's going on and it's like that ma'am so that yeah I, you should give a brief idea that what is in your mind and what you are going to write okay okay then you can start ma'am okay ma'am then i can start ma'am uh, ma how much time i mean maximum i mean like how much time they would give other one two or three minute like that uh it will be like you can actually take your time but it's good that you take lesser time okay ma'am okay if you go wrong they will give you a hint and you can try it second time third time this may also happen so you can't say that Okay, how much time they will be giving but it's good that if you answer, if, you can, if you can answer fast then it's fine okay. else they will give you some hint after one or two minutes oh ma'am uh, a second thing ma'am i need to ask suppose uh, uh, some question is asked that is maybe some condition uh, ma'am some tough question is asked or oh, any question asked and i feel like uh, i don't know properly or i don't know completely so ma'am uh, Is does it reduce the mark when I don't completely answer, or uh, or it reduce the mark only or negative mark only when actually I give answer which is not proper? Okay, I will suggest you that if you are asked for a question that you don't know, just yes. say that I don't know, okay. and if you have little bit idea, you can uh, say that I know this about it, but I am not very sure about this. Okay. okay. this won't give negative of course this will somewhere like your marks will be reduced but this won't give negative also okay ma'am actually interview is somewhat based on luck what you will be asked okay okay so but you should never try to go negative you okay. should not bluff uh, there at any cost just okay. if you don't know just say i don't know if you know little bit brief idea just tell this i know this and uh, i am not very sure about this okay ma'am okay ma'am okay okay thank you ma'am